Figambia will provide travel documents and safety information to manage the country's illegal migration crisis, the West African nation's homeland security chief said. The country's Minister of Interior, Yankuba Sonko, said the government of President Adama Buru is committed to curbing irre irregular migration by supporting employment opportunities and that his government is developing themes to manage the country's porous borders. We will promote orderly and safety migration of government citizens through provision of timely and accurate information regarding opportunities abroad and sensitization about dangers of irregular migration and to reduce irregular migration through better border management as well as the promotion of alternatives to irregular migration by increasing opportunities for youth through national development among other initiatives, Sonka said. Illegal migration to Europe, often through the Atlantic to Spain or the Mediterranean to Italy, has become a major crisis in the country. Hundreds of Gambians have died through the perilous journey, alarming citizens and authority of the danger. However, this has not stopped others from attempting. The poor economic conditions in mainland Africa's smallest country have been blamed for mass exodus of the nation's youth. Many of these migrants, after surviving exploitation and abuse on their journey, are left mentally traumatized. Every day you hear gun sounds. You see people being shot, people being beaten, yeah, people getting tortured. Every day you see it. I never heard a gun sound until I reached Libya. Here in Gambia, I never had guns on until Libya. And Libya every day, every day, morning, night, any time, yeah, these heavy weapons, you will hear it like RPG, boom, until the house will be shaking. The IOM offers these affected people counseling and other forms of assistance. The International Organization for Migration and the Gambia's government crafted a new national migration policy aimed at improving national development including the promotion of diaspora engagement and the reduction of brain damage and its potential negative impact. The IOM has been working closely with the GAME to strengthen migration governance through national coordination frameworks and evidence-based policy design, particularly through research and collection of analysis of data of, to inform policy making. They receive reintegration uh, assistance from the International Organization for Migration, IOM, um, they receive a, a bit of money so that they can travel back to their families and um, the IOM tries to keep track of them but um, due to the very high and um, numbers of returnees and the increasing um, speed of returning planes it is uh, um, difficult for them to keep track of all of them because there is a quite a high backlog. The national migration policy come against relatively recent major developments in migration governance both in African continent and in Europe as the EU seeks consensus on addressing the crisis.